Okay, folks, check it out. It's that time of the year, right? So listen, we're getting ready to make a cornbread. You didn't already seen how I look, and you know why I'm doing it, right? Listen, I'm doing it because we got to make this cornbread for the cornbread dressing. Now, I don't have no whole lot of ingredients. I don't need to do over the top. You know what I mean? Because you guys see me do that Creole cornbread, all of that. But if you want this to turn out just fine, you want to make this recipe. Now, let's go over this. Listen, flour, cornmeal, and some other ingredients, right? But check this out. I got a full printable recipe on my website, which is www.smoking and grilling with AB. And that's WIT, W I T A B. Now we're getting ready to get started. Listen, you want to get yourself a bowl big enough to put everything in, right? Okay, folks, so look, let me just start off by saying listen, you want to preheat your oven to Mm, I almost said 350. You want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees, right? This is going to be super easy. You'll see, and quick. All right, so look, I'm doing mine in a cast iron skillet, right? I just want to show you this. You want to put this inside, and you want this to heat up. This is a little pro tip, especially for you guys that just want to make the cornbread just on GP, right? This is what's going to give you the crispy edges. So don't trip. That's a pro tip, and let's get it. Now, those of you guys that have been following me for a minute know that I like to set my ingredients you know, where, as I need them, right? So we're gonna go butter, eggs, milk, and some sugar, right? You guys can cut the sugar down in half, and don't forget, if you go to my website, I got a full printable, you know, recipe for you, and I got the instructions. Now, first thing we finna do is, we finna open up this, you know, this butter, right? You want your butter to be like room temperature. You wanna make this a little bit on the creamy side. I don't, I'm not a fan of taking the butter and, you know, like melting it. You just wanna do it just the way I tell you. Well, not like that, but you know what I mean best practices, room temperature. Now I'm getting ready to take my sugar and add this in here, just a little bit of it. I don't want it too sweet. This right here makes for some great cornbread. Trust me when I tell you folks. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my eggs. As you can see, I had the hen, you know, I was right in the game and obviously I must've ran out and I wanna know who bought white eggs. All right, you wanna get yourself a whisk? Then you just want to kind of like just move it around like this. It's going to be a little tricky, you know what I mean? Because when it's room temperature, you can see how I get, right? So I didn't add my milk yet, because look, we got to work past this part right here. So you see how it is right here? That's okay. You know what I mean? This is going to be fine, because once we put our dry ingredients in there, it's going to thicken up, and then as we work it in, it's going to all smooth out, right? So now we're going to take our milk. We're going to go ahead and just start adding this in. Can you guys see how it's starting to, it's starting to smooth out just a little bit, but we don't want to make scrambled eggs or nothing like that, right? We just want to help it, you know, help it melt a little bit. And it's okay that they got that little bit of, I guess you just call it that chunkiness, right? Now, it's up to you guys, if you guys like it to be sweet. If you're making this for a standalone, I add all of that in there. I know we got that debate and I love to read about it down in the comment section below. Which one do you guys prefer? Do you like it sweet, a little sweet, or just no sugar at all? Now, listen, the only thing we got is like dry ingredients, right? So what I'm going to do is, both of these are kind of like, you know, they're the same size bowl. I'm going to try to get everything to just, you know, fit in this one right here. We just add all of our dry. Boom. Right? Into this. And now we just give it a whisk. What we want to do is incorporate. Don't do like I just did, folks. Get yourself a bigger bowl. So now we just add our dry ingredients in. Right? We just work a little bit in there at a time. All right, so remember I say we wanna put our cast iron in the inside, right? So let me stand over this way so you guys can see. Now this is a 12 inch. We already got 400 degrees. I can tell you by just picking this up right now, it, I, it's ready to go, right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop Maybe about a tablespoon of butter in here. We're going to move it around. Then we're going to put that in the inside. All right, so you can see everything has, you know, melted. I like to run it across the side, you know, around the edges like this. And you can see it's just hot enough not to burn the butter, right? So we got that there. Now you just want to get yourself, make sure you got that spatula. Well, look, and by using a clear bowl, I get to look and make sure that I got everything, you know, mixed. All right, so now we just going to go ahead, let me get my hands like this, and we just add it to it. All right, so having a hot skillet and you pour it in here, this is how you come up with the crispy edges, which really doesn't mean as much because I'm going to crumble it all up. 
But if you guys are using this as a standalone, then I got something for you. And then remember this too, as many things as I do, sometimes I do things way over the top, but I want you guys to remember, simple sometimes works. Okay, folks, look, I'm gonna give you guys a little heads up. Right? So listen, whenever you baking, I treat it like, this is what I do. I treat it like I'm outside on the grill. We want even coverage. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's a little lighter on that side, but nice and brown on that side, right? So I'm gonna turn that over. Let me just pull this out for you. I'm letting all my heat out. You know what I mean? I'm gonna just check and see where I'm at. Go ahead and drop one of these in there like that. We just gonna wait a minute and I'm gonna pull this out. Oh, if you ask me, I'm gonna say that's clean. Okay, folks, so look, I'm gonna take this out. Let me go ahead and cancel. Pull this out over here. I can tell you right now, it's nice and hot, but I want you guys to pay attention to the edges. Let me slide that over so y'all can see. That there is what I call crispy edges. Okay, so look, there's not a whole lot I can do. I really want to put a stick of butter, uh, not a stick, but a, a cube of butter on the top, but I don't want to get this moist, right? Because the objective is to get this to, you know, dry out. Because don't forget, we're doing a cornbread dressing, right? So, as you saw, the edges are nice and crispy. This right here is the way I want it. And then if I was to cut this open, I'm telling you it's moist. You guys got to try this. Let me know down in the comment section below. I got several different ways that I make these, but this right here is going to be the one for you. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you know what I'm finna do. I'm finna leave this so it can dry out, and I'm out. Peace.